Hi friends, so today I have a fall haul from Fashion Nova and I am so excited about this one. I wish I filmed my unboxing because I was squealing like a pig opening this package. So I've got to say, everything in this haul is a winner. Sizing wise, you might need to take some of my advice because I maybe should have taken my own advice. So everything is good, but if you want to buy something, pay attention to the fit comments I'm gonna make. Okay, we'll start with a pleasant surprise. I'm not big on bodycon dresses or sweater dresses for that matter, but I popped this in my order at the last minute because I was like, I really love the color scheme here. And I put this on and I was like, oh my God. It is so cute, really flattering. Like. Personally, I wouldn't think so. With a bodycon sweater dress, I'm like, oh, this is gonna like really highlight the lower stomach. And honestly, it didn't. So even with horizontal stripes, which I think that is a myth to avoid them, I've never had an issue. I think with the pattern and the color blocking and the different size stripes, like it really didn't pull any focus to the areas I didn't want it to. It skimmed off my body really nicely. So I felt really good in this. It also has a little puff sleeve here just to give you some dimension. So yeah, this was a really pleasant surprise. It goes to about your knee. If you wanna hike it up and maybe put a skirt on over it and have this top as the sweater, that's another option you can do. I can also see myself pairing some black or maroon tights with this. Again, that'll give you a little bit more hold as well if you need it and just look really cute with this dress. So I'm very happy I popped this on my order at the end because it became a favorite really quickly. So I got this one in a 1X, there is Plenty of stretch, it's a ribbed sweater, so if you're in between sizes, you can definitely get the 1X if you're around my size. Okay, another sweater dress. They had this one in a white and orange kind of color scheme and it sold out my size, so I went for the other one in navy and white, and this is like a varsity style sweater. I got this in a 2X and honestly, I could have sized down. Even though you want them to be big, I still could have sized down. So keep that in mind when you're ordering. It is gonna be very roomy as if you're borrowing your boyfriend's sweater. This one hit me just above my knees so I can wear it you know, as a sweater dress. But if, again, if you wanted to add tights or leggings, that would look really cute too. And it just looks very boarding school bitch. <laughs> okay, a little departure from the cute fall sweater dresses. I did get two kind of loud items. While I appreciate, you know, neutrals and looking like an adult, sometimes you just want a big pink feathery piece. So I got two. So the first one will be my jacket for when I kind of just want to blend in with a crowd, you know, not have too many eyes on me. <laughs> I put this on, I was like screaming. This is so me. It's so cute. Um, yeah, a big pink furry. I look like a Muppet, but I love it. Like... Oh my God, I love this so much. There is no enclosure, so there's no like a button or anything here. It's just gonna be a lay it on jacket. Um, you'll definitely see me in a crowd, but this is so cute. Like, I love that it's kind of big, boxy, oversized, because I like playing with proportions like that and it's easy to hide in, you know? Pop this on with some big sunglasses, you are gonna be that bitch. So, you know I love being that bitch. So, I'm really happy about this. Again, it doesn't really fit with the like, fall boarding school vibes of the rest of the haul, but like, this is very much me. There's an animal inside of me and it looks like this. <laughs> so I got this in a 1X, I think it fits perfectly. I felt like I had enough room if I wanted to put like a bulkier sweater under here, there will be enough room. It's lined with a really soft material and it's gonna keep you warm. Obviously this outer part's gonna keep you warm too. And then the wrist and the bottom have a trim, with a lot of stretch, so. Very happy about this. Very loud, very Kimmy Gibbler, very me. This next item is the showstopper of the whole haul. It's gonna be hard to show you, so I'm gonna show you a clip of when I first put it on. I was amazed, I just wanted to spin everywhere. This came in black and pink, and I went with the pink just because I think it's more fun, but now that I love it so much, I will be getting the black too. Okay, so this is a two-part process. It's gonna come with the velvet dress inside, strapless, very my date with the president's daughter. Um, it has the lining here, like that sticky plastic to cling to your body, but like, you know, you're, you're in God's hands at that point. So it is a um, tube dress. I thought it was long enough, you know, it got down to like mid-thigh. Um, I think the good thing about something like this, and especially if you get the black one, you can really put on whatever you want under there. So a nude slip, a black slip, 
Um, even one of those athletic kind of short things, like a, you play tennis in it, but it doesn't have the skirt, it's just the shorts. Like any kind of inner shell you want. You could even do like your own bike shorts and a tank top underneath because this top part is gonna take away anything, but I do think they looked really nice together. So it does come with the inner dress. I got this in a 1X. And then we get the showstopper. So this is um, kind of like a poncho. So you're just gonna pop your head in here. And then the really beautiful drapey, like, I feel like, like Britney Spears' lucky video, that robe kind of effect, but it's a dress. But like, you're gonna get that like whoosh. <laughs> I'm so good at explaining things. Um, you're just gonna feel really glam. I have no idea where I'm gonna wear this. Ideally outside, cause these feathers are making a little bit of a mess, so you don't want to piss off like a banquet hall, but I can definitely see this in Nashville if you're a bachelorette. I could see this in Vegas. I can see this at festivals. Like, this is gonna be that girl. So, I'm super excited about this. Now I want the black one, and if I got the black one, I'd probably just wear some kind of black, easy mini dress underneath, just because I want the straps. My boobs have a mind of their own. I just want a little bit of safety, but I'm really happy I went with the pink. This is so cute, so fun, so different. Like, I have nothing like this. I can also see this being repurposed into some kind of Halloween costume. So again, like, glamorous Hollywood 1940s kind of thing. Pop on some ears, boom, you're glam Miss Piggy. Boom, you're Barbie. Boom, you're literally anything. So. This could be a good base of a costume if you wanted something fun. So even though I said I have nowhere to wear this, I do feel like there's a lot of possibilities for this. Switching gears back into fall, cute, boarding school, we're going back. So there's gonna be a lot of tweed. I am obsessed with tweed. I think it looks so classy. Um, I just think it looks really nice and it's a good alternative to a leather jacket or a denim jacket for fall. If you are wearing like a plain black dress, like the $7 one, there's a feather, like the $7 one I showed you two weeks ago, boom, it's just like a whole new look. So I got a few, like four, tweed jackets, outfits. Um, so this is where I want you to pay attention to the fit because I probably should have sized up in a few of these because tweed is woven. There is no stretch in tweed. Also, these are all lined, so that also takes away from any kind of stretch opportunity that you would get with like a jersey knit. Actually, this isn't jersey either. This is mesh, but like, you know what I mean. So the first two are similar, but I got one in black and I got one in pink because you know I cannot make a decision. Um, I got this in a 1X. I should have went to a 2X. It's cropped regardless, but I think it hits me at a really good place. So I felt like even though it's a cropped jacket, it hit me at a good place where I wasn't uncomfortable. I wasn't like, oh, of course it's drawing attention to the tire around my waist. Like skimmed it off my body really nicely. The only part where I think it's like, where it was necessary for me to size up was the arms. I was getting a little, not pinching, but like I didn't have my full dexterity, I guess, in my arms. So I would say size up from your normal size solely because of the arms. Um, everywhere else I think was fine. It does have buttons, but I would probably never wear it buttoned, but I do think it looks really nice. Like there's really, where are you? I think there is detail in the button. So I think everything comes together really nicely. It's a really good quality, but I would just say size up. So I got this in a 1X. I would get a 2X if I were to buy this again, and I probably would because it looks so cute. So size up in the tweed. Okay, then I got a pink one. It's the same exact jacket. I kind of like the pink color scheme better. I think it just pops more, really cute, very Jackie-o. Um, but again, I got this in a 1X and I should have gotten a 2X and I will be exchanging because I love this so much. I think it's so cute. Um, again, you have a nice detail all throughout. So it has a great construction, the same crop, but I think it hits me at a good place. Um, but there's just no stretch. So like I said, size up if you don't want like, you know, any tightness in your arms, but the perfect jacket. I just need to size up. Um, this one, it's a little bigger. This is also a 1X. This one fits fine. This is not the same style tweed jacket. This is more of a shacket, so it's longer. Um, it's definitely bulky, so this will keep you warm, but there is no lining. But like I said, because it is woven, 
you're not going to get a ton of stretch in here, but I didn't feel the same um, pinching effect that I did in the crop jackets. There's buttons all down the front. I would probably wear it open. I did button it and I had plenty of room, um, so it wasn't like gaping or anything. So the 1X is fine for me here. This is more so of an oversized fit, like I said, like a shacket, but you're getting a houndstooth pattern in tweed. I think this is such a good alternative to flannel because I look stupid in flannel. The entire universe looks so cute. I look like Al from Home Improvement. Like, it's just not for me. So I do tend to lean towards houndstooth. So this is perfect for me. So like I said, this is not a 1X. It has an overall larger feel, no lining. So this fit is fine. You don't have to size up because it's already doing it for you. Okay, there's one more tweed outfit, but it's kind of at the bottom of the pile. So instead of me digging around, breaking a sweat, we'll just get to it later. So I do have a coat, I think caramel, caramel, camel. That's what I was going for. Camel colored coats are really cute. They look good on everyone. I think they're a classic piece, so they're not overly trendy. These are gonna be here for the next 10 years. Um, so I didn't have one, so I wanted one. And side note, my everyday winter jacket that I've been wearing for the past two years is from Fashion Nova. It's my houndstooth, you know, pea coat. Actually keeps me warm, it's amazing. It looks cute, goes with everything. So they know what they're doing with these jackets. So this one is lined. I got it in a 1X. I feel like the fit is fine. You can definitely wear a bulky sweater and be fine in the armholes and everything. This one hits me at like mid thigh. I think that's perfect. I think it's really classy looking. Uh, it does have the one button um, in the middle. I think that's fine. I very rarely button up all the way. Um, I'm usually wearing, again, a sweater. If I'm going out in the winter, wearing a sweater or something with it. So the one button should be fine. I think these look better draped open anyways. Um, a nice collar. This is really thick. So again, I can't test it right now because it's still like 80 degrees in Jersey, but this will definitely be keeping me warm. Okay, I was like, what is boarding school bitch called in the real world? And it's dark academia. So don't let me forget that, but I will in two seconds. But um, this one also very much reminds me of dark academia. Um, so it is a like bustier, not bustier, yeah, yeah, yeah. What are, what are words? Let's, let's just go with it. Bustier tank layered over a button up shirt, but it's all attached. And then I didn't know this when I ordered it. When I took it out of the package, I was like, oh, that's fun. A cutout back. So you will see my bra on the try on. I did my best with a black one, but like I was not prepared for this. This one I would definitely size up in. There is boning in the black part of the top. So I needed a little bit more room to breathe. Um, I do think it's a little short. So again, maybe sizing up would help. To be completely honest, once I got back from Labor Day, I started eating like I was trying to gain weight for a wrestling match. So. Maybe it's me, maybe it's the boning. It's a little bit of both, it's the universe. Maybe I've, you know, gotten a little bigger. I'll leave updated measurements down below. Um, but yeah, this was a little tight, but it does look so cute. Um, another fun fact, I got stuck in this and my dad had to rip it off over my head. So be prepared to have a friend standing by just in case because I was starting to panic. But yeah, I do love the look of this. Um, I could probably recreate it with some things I already have in my wardrobe, but why not get it all attached and with a cute back cutout? But I would just say size up, okay? Just one size, but like size up. Okay, a few basics, but these are staples and they're so cute and perfect for fall. I have a Fashion Nova sweater in a square neck cut in this exact color and it looks amazing. I wear it all the time. So when I saw another sweater um, in like, you know, just like a basic cut, I was like, I need the orange sweater. So this one has a little bit of a puff sleeve. It is a ribbed sweater, so there is tons of stretch. So I got this in a 1X. You'll be fine in your regular size. You'll be fine if you have big boobs, big hips. Like, it's gonna move with you, but still look really cute. This is the perfect burnt orange for fall. I've searched high and low, and I'm usually disappointed at other places, but like, this is fall orange. So I do like the puff sleeve. It's nothing crazy avant-garde funny looking. It just gives good balance to the rest of your body. Um, these are a little cropped. So this and the next two sweaters, little cropped will meet probably right at the top of your jeans, maybe 
right below the waistband. So for me, I'll probably wear these more so with my overalls, my skirts, or tuck these into high-waisted jeans, but I think this is a perfect basic. Okay, the next two are the same sweater, just in two different colors, because I'm a cartoon character who just has a closet full of the same things, but there's nothing wrong with that. This is so cute. I was so excited for this to come, and I'm so happy with how it fits. It's like, the this is gonna be my go-to top. So, same um, ribbed sweater material for the body. You get a little sweetheart neck, and then the arms are like poet sleeve and mesh. So a little billowy to balance out the bodyconness of the sweater part, but this just looks so cute. I used it for layering, I wore it with jeans. Like this is gonna be my go-to sweater. I would probably buy two of these, actually I did. So this one does have a more wide neck cut, so bra wise, I just pushed my straps to the side a little bit, but I'm still on the hunt for a good balconette, um, just so it lines up better. But wearing a black bra with this, you'll be fine. And then I wore a nude bra for the lighter colored one I got, so you'll be fine. This is cropped, and I don't think sizing up would help with any croppedness, so I think the 1X is fine with me. But just like the orange sweater, I'll probably use this for overalls, skirts, or just tucking it in or having it meet the top of your jeans to make it look like it's tucked in to high-waisted jeans. But this is really comfy, really cute, just an elevated basic. So I got the same one, but a nude. You could definitely see the sweetheart cut more so in this one, and you can kind of see how wide the neck cut is. So Again, just pop your bra straps to the side. I think you'll be fine. No one is looking. Let's get real these days. No one is looking, no one cares. A Little bit cropped, it'll meet right at the top of your jeans, so you're prepared. I don't want any surprises when you order things. But I think it's nice for me to branch out into other colors, even though this is a basic neutral. This is kind of like my skin tone. When I was doing the try on, I was like, I look a little naked from here, but all good. So even though I like pink flashy Kimmy Gibbler, it will be nice to look like an adult sometimes. Speaking of looking like an adult, I got a giant baby overall dress. They had this in a few colors and I was torn between um, a green one or this brown and I was like, let's go for the brown, see how it fits. This is very fall and if I like the fit, I'll get the green. This one I got, this one I got in a 2X and I could have sized down. So this is not like denim overall material. This is not corduroy. This is jersey knit fabric. So it does have stretch. And at no point was this clinging to my body, which is a good thing. But I do think I could have gotten a 1X and just had a better overall um, draping. But I think the 2X is fine here. Like it's not so big that I'm like, I need to return this. But like I did notice I did have a lot of room to breathe in there. But I do really like the overall fit. I think this color scheme is really cute. So now that I know that, I'll probably get the green one. You know I love overalls and just like jumper kind of dresses. So very happy I got this. And although the brown is a little different for me, I think it's really cute. All right, next is a fun white button up shirt. There's a lot going on here. We got a big, big puffy sleeve, embroidery, like there's a lot going on here. This is really nice, really cute. This is another item where I would size up. I did get a 1X, probably should have gotten a 2. I don't know why I didn't get a 2. I'm like, most button ups, I size up. I know that in my head, so I don't know what I was thinking. Um, but like I said, I've been eating like crazy and it's a button up, so this, I was like, I, there was some gaping. That's gonna happen in literally any button up for me, no matter what the brand, no matter what kind of NASA technology is going into a button-up shirt, it's gonna gate. So I should have sized up in this, and now I'm telling you to size up in this because it's such a beautiful, well-constructed shirt. I really like how the back is see-through, and then the front parts are more opaque. So really good construction here, and I really love this sleeve. Um, I just needed a little bit more room or to measure myself again. Okay, finally, the last piece, it's a set, it's tweed. So the whole set I got in a 2X and it is a much better fit than the 1X. So now I know in tweed, I should go for the 2X. The skirt fit just fine, there is no stretch here, but I got in just fine, zipped it, everything was good. This does have a trim of a gold chain. I really love that because it just adds a little something different to a tweed skirt. And that chain detail continues to the trim of the jacket, so it's around the collar and at the bottom. So freaking cute. So when I wore this together, I did look a little businesswoman special, but that's the whole point of wearing a tweed set. But I think that's really cute. But you can wear them as separate. So this, a white tank and jeans, this and a black bodysuit, like you're gonna have mixing and matching options. But I do like that the chain makes it a little bit more elevated, um, just a little bit more like, 
tea party classy, I murdered my husband kind of vibe. Okay, that is everything. I have a massive pile right next to me, but I am truly jazzed about every item in this haul. Fit-wise, I could have done better. That's on me, but hopefully now you know which items to size up in because I think every item in this haul was a winner. All of these will be linked down below. My updated measurements will also be in the description box below because Lord knows... I need to know these things too. Um, so if you need any help with sizing, refer to that down below, but also take my word on which things to size up in because of the fabric and because of the construction. I want you to pop these out of the bag, wear them, and it'd be the perfect fit. So let me make the mistakes so you can be a happy shopper. Okay, that is everything. I'm only sweating a little bit. We're getting good. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.